I can't stand what's happening between mm -hmm. white folks and black folks in this country. Because oh. when I go out and I talk to people, we just want to live our lives, enjoy each other's company like you and I are right now. How mm -hmm. dare these people who are the, the ones in charge trying to deflect us from seeing what's really going wrong in our society? Yeah. Listen, I division. know I know it's rough for black folks. Mm -hmm. I understand some of the gifts I've been given by being born blue-eyed. I understand some of the gifts I've been given by being a mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But all I know is I'm also not very tall. And if I were six feet tall, I'd have a whole lot more privilege. Yeah. <laughs> and you know yeah. what? That's not that's that's not anybody else's problem but mine. Right. I, mm -hmm. I talked to a guy yesterday. He's in Brooklyn, New York. He was on the train. And a guy walked up to another man and said, if you don't get off on the next station, I'm going to murder you. He cursed at him. Wow. And when his woman said, now you're being a little, he hit her. Everybody got off the train next station. What? And he didn't get, he got away with it. Nobody arrested him. He goes, man, people wander around the fentanyl, the homelessness. And everybody wants to pretend it didn't go. It's not going on. And people have to stand up, wake up and defend themselves. So, so he, was he a black guy or a white guy that did this? Like who, black what, guy was, was the aggressor. And the, and the, and a black man's telling me, that this is the city he lives in, and he and he and he's he he says I'm embarrassed. Wow. I'm a black man. That isn't me. I'm trying to make wow. the world a better place, and that's the message that that all of us should be should be about. Yeah. He's going into I, prisons and trying to get the guys back straight. Mm -hmm. God bless him. So I mean, you know, the, all of this narrative that's just not true. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is that it's gone so far that that is that would not well people wouldn't be outraged because it's like okay that's not racism but let it be flipped let it be a white guy doing it to a black guy then all hell is broken well, he, he should get in trouble too yeah right right i agree it's like okay no no that's no that's no longer it's it's uh, okay uh, for for black people to be racist against other people no it's not okay it's not you know okay what? at all Anytime someone is encouraged into victimhood, mm -hmm. they're losing their freedom. Yeah. They're losing their personal power. Exactly. And what I think is a shame is saying, oh, no, be a victim. Get the hand out. I don't care who you are, what color your skin, your nationality, mm -hmm. whether you're coming here from Venezuela, elsewhere. Oh, you poor thing. You just stay mm -hmm. down. Let the government help you. No, the people who are happiest, most fulfilled are the people who empowered who are empowered. They yes. have their own agency. Because remember, that's the way we were created by God, to have mm -hmm, agency. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. to be under something's thumb. Yeah. I don't Not care to be a who victim. you are. And, and what I'm telling you is when you get off of social media and you go out in the real world, men mm -hmm. talking to women, black folks talking to white folks. You know, I, have ne I, I live in San Antonio, Texas. I'm sure they're out there. Mm -hmm. I have never met someone who's one of my Mexicano friends who isn't disgusted by the term Latinx. They wow. didn't come up with it. They're Latinos and Latinas because that's their language. That right, is the right. Spanish language. Mm -hmm. You are taking my culture from me and forcing this, this weirdness on me where I'm mm. where my language isn't male and female anymore. No. That that wasn't come up. That, that the people who are Latino, Latina didn't come up with that. Come up with that, yeah. They don't they yeah. don't relate to it. Why is mm -hmm. it there? Why is it imposed wow. upon them? Because it's it's victimhood. Yeah. And, and there's and, no and power victim. in victimhood. There's no power in being a victim, right? You know what? All the people that cross the border who are desperate to come here, that is going to be a little bit different take than you've expected from a guy with the words coming out of my mouth. You're watching this. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're the non victims. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. the ones who escaped a worse reality for the dream to come to America. Exactly. And then what happens when those people finally cross the border after risking their lives with nothing? Hmm. Treat them like victims. Yeah. We, we and the cycle continues. The and the cycle continues. <laughs> well, those people didn't come here to be victims. No. They're ready to work for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, Absolutely. It, it, it's a little rough to have to go through the entire process. Eight years, lots of money. They don't have it. They're mm -hmm. doing what they can to survive and not be a victim of, of, of their circumstances. That's right. the part people don't understand about the immigration. Hmm. These people didn't come here to be your victim. Hmm. 
If you knew each a person's individual story, you would see a story of strength, resilience, and determination. And then they come here, and then they're treated like victims. Oh, and of course, because so they're they, they're hungry and they need yeah. help, right? They'll accept it. They'll accept it, but hopefully it's a short term. But then they're in the system, system, and, and then and then they're perpetuated in. throughout. 